Hey, everybody. I think I am live. Um, it's been a while since I have done a live in this group, and I wanted to come in today for a couple of hey, reasons, everybody. but um, most importantly, I wanted to, we've got some new people in the group, and I want to say hi, introduce myself. I'm Robin Graham. I am basically in a nutshell, a marketing and lead generation strategist. I focus on everything from personal branding to search engine optimization to help you grow your business with simplicity, ease, and grace. And most recently, when we have been accepting new members into the group, when I asked the question, what is one of your, what is your number one struggle with growing your business? So many people have said mindset. So I thought I would come today and share a little bit of information that I use my method, I suppose, um, as part of the purpose to results method. When we talk about mindset plus strategy plus action equals results, that mindset component is so incredibly important. And it really is an integral part of growing a successful business. Because if you're thinking negative thoughts, if you don't believe in yourself, ultimately you aren't going to grow because you're not going to take action. So I thought it would be a good idea today to just review with you my situational mindset modeling. And this all, this whole method that I use, this modeling that I use is very scientific in nature. It's also biblical, biblical in nature, because um, I read a book not long ago called Switch on Your Brain. And if you, if you've been around for a while, you already know that mental health is very, very important to me. And May is Mental Health Awareness Month. So this is perfect timing to be coming in and addressing this. But when we talk about our brains, we our brains are very, very intricate. They are very miraculously made and very complex. But one of the really cool things about our brains is that we can remap or change the neural pathways. So if we have been stuck in a negative thought pattern, um, if we have been you know, stuck thinking negative things about ourselves, stuck in asking a ton of what if questions, and those things have caused us to procrastinate or hold us back or prevent us from moving forward in our business or even in life situations, we can actually change those neural pathways. You can do that in various ways. Um, meditation is one way. For me, meditation um, has never been my go-to, but journaling is. And when we when we meditate or when we journal, when we write, when we get those thoughts out of our head and onto paper, when we do that activity, we actually can change the neural pathways in our brain. Meditation and journaling are equal in that regard, that doing one or the other actually can help you change those neural pathways in our brains. So our mindset is really at the core of us. It's it's part of our soul, really. It's that deep connection that we have in, in our own self as to what we believe. And what we believe in terms of what's capable for us in, in our beliefs are sometimes based on what we've been taught to believe. Sometimes our beliefs are based on our faith and whether we have a practicing faith or we don't. Our beliefs can be about ourselves. Our beliefs can be about others. Our beliefs can be what we what we believe other people see us as. Um, it can be about our needs, but our beliefs encompass a lot of things, but our beliefs are at the core of the situational mindset modeling, because what you believe is going to determine what you think. So our beliefs, our beliefs will influence our thoughts. So if you are sitting in a place that is negative and you believe that having a six figure business is not possible, what are your thoughts going to be? Your thoughts are going to be, I can't do this. This is not possible. Clients aren't going to find me. No one's going to hire me. I'm never going to make six figures. I don't know how to have an impact. I don't know where to begin to start a business. All those negative thoughts are going to trigger emotions. Those emotions, because the thoughts were negative, because the belief that you could do this, that you could become a six-figure entrepreneur, 
because that started this negative cycle. Your thoughts are negative and now your emotions are going to be negative and your emo you're going to feel a lack of confidence. You're going to feel unmotivated. You're going to have a lack of energy. All of these emotions that are heavy, um, weighing you down, you feel almost dreadful. You feel a lack of hope. You don't have the positive emotions that are going to result in you taking, making positive choices, positive choices that are going to lead to positive behaviors and positive actions. So when you don't have positive actions, positive choices, you may choose to sit and watch Netflix instead of taking action towards your business. A good example in this scenario is similar to the one that I just gave you with your business, but if you are, let's say you set a goal to lose 20 pounds, but you believe that this is going to be really hard. You believe that everybody else can lose weight, but you can't. That's going to trigger negative thoughts. Those negative thoughts may be that I'm fat. I'm never going to lose weight. Even if I exercise, it's not going to work. Even if I diet, it's not going to work. I'll never be healthy. And if you're thinking those negative thoughts, you're going to feel less than, you're not going to feel confident, you're going to feel unmotivated, you're going to feel sad, you may feel, you know, other emotions, maybe just, you know, like I said before, that heaviness, but those emotions are going to be negative. Therefore, what choices are you going to make? If you're in a place of unbelief, if you're in a place of negative thoughts, the choices you make are going to be to, okay, I'm not going to exercise because it's not going to work anyway. I'm going to eat a candy bar. I'm going to have a soda. Instead of actually making positive choices and taking positive action steps to be able to lose 20 pounds, you may even gain weight or you're going to stay the same. Your outcome is not going to be positive. So let's flip the switch, okay? Because I'd much rather be in a positive place than a negative place. Now, when I talk about this, this is coming from a place of, from deep within me, because I have had anxiety my whole entire life and anxiety and depression go hand in hand. So if you have anxiety and if you have depression, these negative emotions are going to weigh on you even more so than someone who doesn't have anxiety or depression. But entrepreneurship is a trigger for anxiety. Many people have never felt anxious in their entire life. And all of a sudden they're an entrepreneur and the weight of entrepreneurship, all of the decisions you have to make, the pressures to succeed, the having to do everything by yourself or determine who to hire and how to hire them. All of those decisions and all of the action that you have to take can wear a person down and cause anxiety to rise or trigger anxiety that was never there to begin with. So this mindset modeling that I am encouraging you to start implementing in your life can be life changing and transformative in every aspect of your life and in your business. So let's flip the switch for a second. So let's go back to your belief about, or I don't know if this is your belief, this is an example of beliefs, but let's just say um, someone believes that it's possible to make six figures. You believe that you already are a six-figure entrepreneur because you're putting in all the work to get there. And you believe that your ideal clients are out there and that your ideal clients are going to discover you and hire you. Okay, so now your thoughts are going to be, everything I'm doing is working. I am going to meet my goal of $100,000 this year. My clients love me. I have already served a lot of people and know that I can effectively serve more. My clients love me so much, they're going to refer their friends to me. I am a successful entrepreneur. My journey has led me right to where I am today to do what I'm doing, to serve other people. My business is already successful. These are some of the positive thoughts. Now, how do you feel about your business? You're going to feel excited, motivated. You're going to feel confident. You're going to have positive energy. You're going to feel happy. 
you're going to have an, a positive anticipation of what's next and what's to come. You're going to be looking forward to the future instead of dreading it. So what are your choices going to be? Your choices are going to be to take action, to reach out to your soulmate clients, to put your best foot forward, to make decisions in your business instead of procrastinating or staying in a place of indecision. You're actually going to do the work that needs to be done. You're going to put on your strategic thinking cap. You're going to be willing to do the hard things. You're going to choose to do the hard things. And as a result, you're going to reach six figures this year. We can use that same example of weight loss too. If you believe that anything is possible, and even back in that example of the six-figure earner, let me just say to you, anything is possible with God. And if you invite Jesus into your life, if you tap into the Holy Spirit that's already inside of you and ask the questions and ask for help, if you come from a place of belief and a place of gratitude, you have no reason to doubt. So let's look at that example of losing 20 pounds. I believe this isn't me because I don't want to lose 20 pounds, but say this, you know, this is an example. If you want to lose 20 pounds and you believe that it's possible because God has given you the inner strength to be self-disciplined, to be dedicated, to choose the right food. You believe that you have the power within you to choose the right food choices, to choose to exercise and to do what it takes. Your thoughts are going to be, I can do this. I've got this. I can make healthy choices. I am strong. I am dedicated. I'm healthy. It is possible to lose 20 pounds. 20 pounds is just a drop in the bucket. These positive thoughts are now going to lead to positive choices. Those positive choices may be to eat a salad with a little bit of dressing instead of a lot of dressing, or to eat more protein, healthy, lean protein, like fish or chicken. It could be that you're going to choose to exercise for 20 minutes, three times a week. Maybe you're going to start by choosing to walk one mile and then gradually build up to two miles, go from three days a week to six days a week. Whatever those choices are, they're going to be positive because now you believe that you're capable and your thoughts are positive. So now you're motivated. And guess what? The more positive choices you make, the more progress you're going to make. Therefore, the more motivated you're going to be. And what is your outcome going to be? You're going to lose 20 pounds and you're going to be able to keep it off. And you're going to feel healthy and you're going to feel rejuvenated. You're going to feel joyful. So all those positive emotions that led you to taking that action are now amplified to even more positivity. And it's the same thing within your business. So I encourage you every single day, every morning when you get out of bed, grab a pen and paper and start writing out this belief model. If you're feeling a negative belief, write it down and write out the whole process. So you're going to write the situation at the top, whatever that thing is. Maybe it's your business. Maybe it's attracting new clients. Maybe it is your marketing strategy. Maybe it is losing 20 pounds. Whatever the case may be, that situation is completely neutral. It's neither positive or negative. But what you believe about it is going to influence your thoughts about it. Your thoughts are going to influence your emotions and your emotions are going to influence your choices and behaviors, the action you take. And collectively, that is going to determine your outcomes. So I encourage you every day, if that's negative, get it out of your head and onto paper. And then next to it, write down the positive alternative. The more you catch those negative thoughts and beliefs, the more you challenge them to say, is this realistic? Would my my best friend who I love and trust be thinking the same thing? Would my spouse, my partner, my colleague, my children, my parents, would anybody else be thinking the same thing I'm thinking right now? This negative thought that this is never going to work? Chances are no. And if the answer is no, 
then it's time to change it. The more you change those beliefs to positive beliefs, the more you believe in yourself, the more you believe in the miraculous power of God making the impossible possible, the more you do that, the more you shift to the positive, the more control you're going to have over your thoughts. They're, you're going to catch the negative faster and you're going to be positive more often than not. And the more that happens, the more confident you're going to be. And we know that confidence helps us make better decisions. Confidence helps us represent ourselves. And when we represent ourselves in a positive way, what's going to happen? Our audience, our community is going to feel confident in us and our abilities to help them, to serve them. When they're more confident in us, they are going to trust us more and trust determines buying practices. So if you have a goal of hundred K this year, you're going to reach that goal because now you have this model that is going to help you believe it's possible to think it's possible. And you're going to make the right choices one step at a time to implement strategy in your business, to put yourself front and center so that your audience can get to know you, love you and trust you. I believe in you, friends. I truly believe in you. And I know what's possible for you. If I can do this, you can do this. All right. I am going to close out for today, but I would love to hear from you. If you think this model is helpful, I would love to know if you're struggling with mindset challenges. So listen, if you're watching this live, you can always add in the comments. If you watch this after a bit, you can leave comments and I'll see them and I can respond to you, but I would love to know where your mindset struggles lie. Is it around your business? Is it around yourself? Um, is it imposter syndrome? Is it comparison? Because all of those are things that you can navigate. And if you need help with that, I'm here to help you. And I would be more than happy and honored at the same time to help you. If you're listening to the podcast episode, listen, if you're having mindset challenges, I'd love to hear about them. And I'd love to know specifically what they are. Sometimes we don't recognize that we're having mindset challenges until someone points it out. But if you feel stuck in your business, chances are that doubt, imposter syndrome, comparison, fear, anxiety are holding you back. There's most likely a mental component to what is holding you back. So shoot me an email. My email is info at therobingram.com. You can DM me over on um, LinkedIn, Instagram, Facebook, wherever, or send me, send me an email because listen, we're in this together. I want you to succeed. And if I can provide a tool or help you, I'm happy to do it. So, all right. I thank you for being here. Um, I would love, love, love to hear from you about whether or not you think this model is effective and if you like it and if it helped you today. And if you know anybody else who might benefit from this, share it with them because listen, we're all in this together and this journey is, is long and arduous at times, right? So, but it doesn't have to be building a business, growing a business does not have to be hard. And if you start using this model, I promise you, you'll start making better decisions and start moving forward to grow your business, to have an impact and make money faster. All right. I'll see y'all next time.